Once that's done, there's one more step and we'll be done with uh, this part here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to connect that user to the database. What happens here is that user is going to have the ability to update the database and things like that. Uh, now, we're not going to go deep into that. We're just going to understand the basics. So you'll notice here that you can add the user to the database. I'm going to find the user, cam taz, and the vid test, and make sure these are right. And click on add, and do all privileges. Click on make changes, and that's it. Uh, so before we go to the next step, I want you to save that information. This is the username, and I want to make sure that I have the password and this is the database so make sure that you have a note of that once that's done I want to go back to that document that we were looking at the wp-config-sample.php uh, file DB name is the name of the database that we just created which is that and the username enter here as you can see here and I'm just copying it from notepad and there we go you can click on save exit it go back to that area and we want to rename it as it told us just now it says save the file as wpconfig.php so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna rename it as wp-config.php and that's it the second step is to upload everything now there are two ways of going about uploading you can either use FTP which is the file transfer protocol which just basically means a program that allows you to upload files to your domain name or what I like to do is a shortcut I like to just use cPanel since I'm using it anyways so I'm going to go to the file manager view and most web hosting panels have this I'm going to go to the file manager I'm going to find a location in that file manager as to where I want to upload those files now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call that new folder vid test create new folder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a file now you're probably thinking, okay, well, what file are you uploading? Well, if I go back to my file manager view on my desktop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything here. So I'm going to click on select all or control A. Then I'm going to right click it and send to a zip file. And this is actually a faster method. I'm going to zip it, close it, find the file, which is this here. Click on open and I'm going to upload that file. So let's fast forward the upload process a little bit and go straight to the installation. Now that the upload process is finished, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip it so if I click on that and click on extract and make sure I extract it to the vid test area and that's it and close that out and then let's go back to the readme file it says open the wp-admin slash install.php in your browser so here's what it means I'm basically going to that vid test folder slash wp dash admin slash install dot php and that's it. So that's pretty much it. And what you need to do is you need to enter your blog title, which in this case I could say something like how to create videos using Camtasia and my email address. 
And then I'm going to check that so I can allow my blog to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati. So I'm going to go ahead and click install WordPress. And if all the information is correct, it should install perfectly. And it has. So as you can see here, we have that. Uh, you want to make sure that you take note and jot down uh, your administrative username, which is admin, and your password. And you can change your password as you log in. If you log in, just to take a look at it. You can change your password by going to the admin link as seen on the top, scrolling all the way to the bottom and clicking that, and then inserting your new password, and then just clicking update profile. 